Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes. Am I recording? Yes, I'm. <laughs> and today I wanted to show you a preview of the final demo from the Greensock workshop, which is cool SVG animation. So I've got a scene and nicely illustrated and we'll be animating it similar to my SVG Christmas card, but in a different fashion. So here is the sneak peek. As I said, no one seen this before apart from I think one or two people. So you are one of the first ones to see it. Enjoy. So let's play it again and talk about it a little bit. So we've got a big SVG scene, which we'll export from Illustrator and optimize it and clean it up, uh, create a couple groups, give them IDs or classes just to know what we're animating. And then we will start telling the story about Greensock and how it can be turned or how, how it can be used to turn ideas into some nice animations. Okay, so it's a uh, one group of me, that's the person scaling down, then we're revealing the scene behind, animating text, which is using the text plugin to change the text itself. And then we've got a little light bulb, that's the idea. Once you get the right idea, the golden idea, you get the coin which you put into the green sock machine, which I call green sock lab. The idea is gonna flow through the code and actually evolve into something really, really cool. So this is it for today. Hope you enjoyed at least this sneak peek and I'll show you the rest of the timeline next time. As I said, we'll be creating twins. So we'll start with simple twin, add them to a timeline. Once you've got a timeline, you can create multiple timelines, put them on the master timeline and control the story or the animation flow very, very easily with Greensock. I will be using just the free plugins from Greensock. So it's not a compulsory that you need to have the premium plugin. So for the text, for all the SVG animation, and even for the liquid going through the pipes, which you'll see next time, I'm using just the standard package of Greensock plugins. Okay, so there is no need to sign up for the premium ones and you can go through the workshop just using the default free plugins. Okay, as you can see, there's also a cool slow motion. So the coin, when the coin actually gets out of my head, when the idea gets out of my head, it actually animates over the Bazier curve path as well. And it's using slow motion easing, which gives it a little bit of extra, extra character as well and we're rotating it at the same time. Okay, so it looks pretty cool. I really like it. I'm sure you'll like the rest of the timeline as well. So stay tuned for next time. And that's it all for today. Hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek of the first part of the cool timeline. I'll be working on the rest of it and showing you as I progress through the demo. So stay tuned. Also visit my blog, Greensock Workshop, coming soon page where I'm posting a few tweets and sneak peeks just so you know what's coming. Okay. As always, if you have any feedback, leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.